Hello everyone, today I'm going to be introducing the industrial revolution and hitting on some key points. Rather than getting into every detail, I will be explaining what the industrial revolution was and then hit some broader topics as to why the industrial revolution affected America in bigger ways, but also affected other countries like Europe. To begin, the Industrial Revolution was categorized into two parts. The first part lasted from 1760 to 1840. The second part of the Industrial Revolution roughly went from the mid-19th century until the early 20th century. We will be focusing more on the second phase. Countries like Britain, Europe, Japan, and North America were all parts of this. Later in the 20th century, the Industrial Revolution then spread throughout other parts of the world. So what exactly was the Industrial Revolution? The Industrial Revolution was primarily the change from agrarian and handicraft economy to an economy which is dominated by industry and machine manufacturing. Machine manufacturing was a huge forward step in how we got things done. We were able to get things done faster and more efficiently. There were three main features involved during the Industrial Revolution which included technology, socioeconomic, and cultural. There were many pieces of technology that changed the way we made things. Some of these types of technology included new materials such as iron and steel. It also included the uses of new energy sources. These energy sources included coal, the steam engine, electricity, petroleum, and the internal combustion engine. By using coal, we were able to burn it and turn its heat into mechanical energy. This energy would then be used to power many of our machines that we were using to make products. With electricity, the same was applied. Other changes in technology that we used were inventions in new machines. This helped us get things done more efficiently and produce much more product in smaller amounts of time than the way things used to be done before. Other major factors in the Industrial Revolution included the factory system. With the factory system, we were able to incorporate assembly lines and use many new machines to create products for people in mass production. Creating things in mass production often saved money and provided people with jobs. Many factories were spread throughout the United States and to other countries during this time. It was a way of getting things done efficiently and making the most money possible. With this happening, the United States of America was becoming much more wealthy. Important developments of transportation and communication were also made during the time period of the Industrial Revolution. Examples of these involved the steam locomotive, which was basically a steam-powered engine that ran a train. The train was able to move materials and goods around to reach factories and other places that needed them in a very efficient way. Before this, people had to use horses and buggies to move things, which was not very efficient at all. Another example of transportation used was steamships. Steamships were able to do the same as the steam locomotive, but instead they ran on bodies of water. During this time period, the automobile was also invented. Another thing that was developed during this time period was the airplane. All of these things made transportation and communication so much easier. Some of the new forms of communication were the telegraph and the radio. With radio, we were able to communicate from far distances, which made things much easier for people. The telegraph was also invented for long distance communication. We were able to communicate with other states through this invention. Rather than sending letters, we were able to do this almost instantly through telegraph. This was a very efficient way of communication, which led to the America making more money as well. Throughout the second part of the Industrial Revolution, new materials came about. We were able to use lighter metals for things. We also discovered substances and materials, such as rare earths during this time. New alloys were discovered that made for better building. And also during this time period, plastic came about, and we were able to use it in very efficient ways. So overall, how did it change society during this time period? The Industrial Revolution increased the wealth distributed amongst more Americans. Wealth was distributed more widely, which then created a middle class. However, the Industrial Revolution often made large numbers of women and children work long, tedious, and dangerous shifts. On top of that, 
they were often paid very low wages. The Industrial Revolution also brought many people into the cities for work. This is how the Industrial Revolution changed society during this time period. Overall, the Industrial Revolution made America much wealthier. But not only did it make America wealthier, it also made Europe wealthier as well. Europe started to notice what we were doing and then followed the same path. Inventions that were used during the Industrial Revolution included the steam engine, steamboats, steamships, factory machines, electric generators and motors, light bulbs, the telegraph and the telephone, and also internal combustion engines and automobiles. These all made things much easier for America and Europe, which then, in turn, made both of us very wealthy, not just America. Overall, here are some key takeaways. It is safe to say that the Industrial Revolution was a time that was very efficient in what we did. We produced new machines and made new ways of work, such as factory work and the assembly line. We made new ways of transportation and communication, which brought more efficiency. We also created mass production, which led America to becoming more wealthy overall. Other nations during this time period also did what we were doing, such as Europe. They became more wealthy. Not only did the United States of America become more wealthy during this time, but other nations like Europe did as well. Thanks so much for taking your time to watch this presentation. I hope what you learned will benefit you in any way possible. I appreciate you watching and have a great rest of your day.